Okay, more energy in heat thermal processes. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at a problem that's a little further in here as you move through. This is an interesting problem. It says we've got a five gram lead bullet traveling at 300 meters per second, and it's stopped by a large tree. If half of the kinetic energy of the bullet is transformed into internal energy and remains with the bullet while the other is transmitted to the tree, what is the increase in temperature of the bullet? Okay, so we've got a bullet that's fired into the tree. So these are fun problems because it goes back and has us look at what we've learned before about kinetic and potential energy and other forms of energy um, and using them to help us solve these types of problems. So the mechanical energy transformed to internal energy of the bullet then is stated by the energy Q, that related to heat, is equal to one-half the kinetic energy initial, and we can take that value then and embed the relationship for kinetic energy, one-half mv squared, and we come up with a starting relationship then of one-fourth mv squared as a value. Now since we know the mass of the bullet and we know the velocity, we're basically done with the problem. So, thus the change in the temperature of the bullet, we go back to our relationship that says that that um, energy Q is equal to the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. So let's move these terms around so that we have that temperature term by itself because that's what we're solving for. The change in temperature, delta T then, is equal to the heat energy divided by the mass times the specific heat. Now we can substitute that value for Q that we did in the first step, 1 quarter mv squared divided by mc. Again, another problem where conveniently the masses cancel out and we're left with the velocity squared divided by 4 times the specific heat. Now we just populate our values, 300 meters per second squared divided by 4 times the specific heat. The specific heat in this case would be the wood in the tree, 128 joules per kilogram times the temperature in Celsius or centigrade. And when we run that through our relationships, we end up with a change in temperature of 176 degrees Celsius.